Greetings all, this is Dickie Adams with PocketNow.com and today we're going to do a special feature. We're going to show you how to root the Kindle Fire. These instructions just came out so we thought we'd do a video feature and show you how it's done. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So the link to the instructions and to the files that you'll need are going to be in the notes here on the video and also at PocketNow.com with the news post. Uh, we're already at the link here in XDA and we're ready to proceed. There's one step that's out of order, in my opinion, in this listing here, and namely that is right here to go ahead and go in and to the Kindle Fire and set the ability to install from unknown devices. So if we go in here to the gear and then we hit more and then go down to device. And then right here, make sure this is set to allow installation of applications, this option right here. When you get that done, then we can go back up here to the next steps, which is first we're going to need to edit the ADB USB uh, file. You need to make sure that ADB is already installed and you've got the SDK running. So it's going to take a little bit of knowledge and understanding of that before you get started. So if we go in here to the Android folder, there's the ADB USB INI file here and then if we look at that ADB USB INI file you can see I've already got this here the detail here coded into this file and I've saved it. The next step is we go into the USB driver folder let me show you where that is so in my case, it's under the root of the, the C drive and then Android SDK and USB driver. It's going to be wherever you launch your ADB file from. And then when you look at that particular file, you can see here I've got the text here that's selected here put into the proper places. So there's a Google NTX86 and there's a Google NT AMD64 and both of them need to have the same code put into both and then the file saved as well. So once you've done that then you can plug your Kindle in if you haven't done this already and what you'll get is a beep like you just heard and now it's ready for USB connections. Now if you've already got ADB installed uh, you can see here I'm going to go ahead and just type in ADB devices. It's going to show us here that the device is connected right here. So right here, this is the Amazon Kindle Fire ready to go. So now we're going to go ahead and move into my folder here where I've got the super one click. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Let me drag it down here where you can see it. You don't need to change any of the settings. All you need to do is click the root button right here. It's going to take a few seconds. It's going to kill ADB and it's going to run through some steps and you'll see some more information over here. When it gets finished, it's going to ask you if you want to install BusyBox and go ahead and say yes. Uh, and when it gets done with that piece, it's going to ask you if you want to run a test and you're going to say yes as well. So you can see it's found a path, crunching, crunching. It's going to work away. It doesn't really take too much time. So it's restarting as root. We'll give it just a couple of seconds for the device to recover. If you want to run a test, we say yes. It's going to send an SU command and down here on the device. It pops up a little message down here to say that it's been rooted and then says yes, you want to Root, would you like to donate now? Why not? Go ahead and uh, donate if you like to. So now the device is in fact rooted. So at this point, what you can do is move on to the next step, which is actually to go and grab the files from the uh, next link in the list, which includes all of the files for installing things like Google Mail and the Google Market, etc., etc. Uh, there's a link in there as well to the XDA to show you how to do those pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. And then 
because you've got root, you can set the market to the proper permissions and be able to launch that as well. Now, should you do this? Eh, it depends if your type of person likes to tinker. I certainly like to do that sort of thing. And if you go in here, you can see on my device, I've already got Go Launcher EX, which is required if you're going to use the market because otherwise it won't launch won't show up as an icon. So here's the Google Market as you can see. I've also got Google Reader installed, Google Music. If we go into apps, you can see I've got Google Plus installed. I've also got Gmail installed, Google Maps installed, all part and parcel of this routing. Although you can install some of these apps without routing, but why not have root as well so you can get the the part of the market as, uh, as part of this process. So if you have any questions or comments or need some help on this, uh, pop out to pocketnow.com to the news post that you'll see for this routing tutorial and leave us a note and we'll be happy to help. Otherwise, thanks for watching.